I've been working with the origin resume template and have replaced the placeholder text with my own text. As you can see, the template has included a bulleted list under the Education and Skills section. In templates, lists are especially easy because the bullet has been predefined by the template. But what if you don't like the bullet included with the template? Don't worry, you're not stuck with it. Bullets are easy to change and add to a document. Simply select the bulleted list and text. On the Home tab, select the drop-down arrow next to the bullets command. Now we can see recently used bullets and some bullets from the bullet library. If you see one that you like, simply left-click it and the new bullet will appear in the list. But what if you don't like any of those bullet choices? Make sure your text is still selected and then select the drop down arrow next to the bullets command again. At the bottom of the menu, select Define New Bullet. The Define New Bullet dialog box appears. Now we can select from symbols or pictures on our computer and even change the font or formatting of the image. A picture doesn't seem quite right for a resume, so let's take a look at our symbols by clicking the symbol button. The symbol dialog box appears. We can use a scroll bar to scroll through these choices or the font drop down menu to choose another set to view. I think I remember seeing some good bullet options in the wingding section, so I'm going to select that. Ooh, look at all these new choices. Oh look, I like this arrow. To use it in my document, all I need to do is select it and click OK in the symbol dialog box. I can modify the bullet a bit here if I wish. I can change the alignment of the bullet by selecting the drop down menu in the alignment section. You can see in the preview section how this slightly changes things. I can also select the font button to access the font dialog box. Here I can change many things. Probably the most likely thing you might want to change is the bullet color. To change the color, select the drop down arrow next to the font color box and select a color that works for you. You can view your changes in the preview section before you click OK. When I'm ready to change the bullet in the actual document, click OK in the Define Bullet dialog box. But what if I decide I want to change a bullet list to a numbered list or add a numbered list from scratch? Just select the text and click the drop down arrow next to the numbering command on the Home tab. I can choose one of the options from the numbering library or define a new number format just like we did with the bullets. Hmm, I think this one will work. All I have to do is left click it and the numbered list will appear in my document. This looks pretty good. As you can see, bulleted and numbered list can be used to draw attention to certain parts of the text and in this document really make it look good. I'm going to finish formatting all my bullets so they look the same and my resume looks professional and I'm going to go ahead and add all my information to the resume. Organize your list today by using the bulleted and numbered list commands.